it's a person. Not really. We've got a glove. That's about it. This way. Hide. Horrible. Oh god, I can't get in these. It looks like it was broken. Presumably, I could not have done this with the... Oh, I can't go up there. Oh, I can <laughs> Some sort of fluid has oozed out and shorted the floor's switch mechanism. Oh, very nice. That means I won't have to go via the monsters again. down first. Was I for planning to, like, push this out through the air bar? Fly free, little crate. I wonder where the airlock exit is. Oh, that killed me. There it is. There we go. And that's why it allowed me to, um... Allowed me to walk into the sun, whereas before I couldn't. <gasps> it is a lollipop. What the? There's a giant lollipop in my way. I mean, uh... Wah! Oh no! My greatest fear! Whatever will I do? I'm gonna eat it, that's what. Hmm. Tastes like fear. One of those spade shaped ones. That you that you dig into your bag of sherbet with. So this lolly might actually come in useful. I'm not familiar with such a treat. Killed them all! Arg. Ahem. <clears throat> If I'm shivering, it's definitely because of all the ice. Not because I'm terrified right now. This bank controls the ship's thrusters. It can change their angle. Not sure what help that'd be. Adrift in space. Or not sure what help that'd... Yeah, be adrift in space, but there you go. I'm not touching that with my raw hand. For all I know, it's alien ejaculatory mucus. All right, well, I guess I will wear a glove then. Bop. Oh, that thruster. I see. Seems to work, but I didn't feel the ship change direction. So we're still on a haunted ship drifting through the infinite darkness. But its thrusters are at a slightly different angle. Yay. 
do. That ghost left behind some sort of glowing ectoplasmic residue. Never be able to pick it up. I just end up with glowy hands like I'm at some sort of rave. Terrifying. Spade-like. Sun-dried lollipop is hefty, broad, and hard, and broad. Just like a spade. I want to dig that stuff up. Fine, don't. It's revolting. Oh, this must be the, the exit. Yep. It just led back to here. Okay, so. Said I want to go back here so I can go to where the thruster is. I see. Only that is. Up. Whoa! First up gravity. Then left gravity, now low gravity. That's got to be all the permutations now, surely. Except maybe total gravity, but I guess that's what Ben's got. Wah! I fell. gravity feels disappointingly similar to normal boring spaceship gravity. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm actually missing being on fire right now. Horrible. Another knee trembler over with. Knee trembler? What have you been up to while I've been armpit deep in horror? Ben, I can hear you again. I can't get to you, though. Looks like there's some ice in the way. No way to melt it. Help me, Ben. Hold tight, matey. I've got all the power of a sun at my disposal. Well, I mean, it's starlight, but it's much the same thing. I'll just need to focus it for you. I see. That's that's what's in the way. Oh, but I can't get through all by myself. Okay. Um. Uh, what what actually can I do on my side? Anything? There's still the thruster alignment. Oh, give over. Is that what they say? Is that what the kids say these days? Give over? Dan already has the droid. True. 
Um, I don't think there's anything else this way. What else? There is my backpack. The British kids. Bag of science. That appears to just be a bomb. Thruster control is no longer an item. I don't think jabbing a ghost with a spike kills them. Shield like guard won't ha won't protect me from ghostly ectoplasm. Sticky enough. Hmm. There must be something that I do with him. Low on stuff to do. Alright, let's. Can I set the drone down there? Update drops. Very good. Can I go like that and set it down, and maybe now I can control it because he set it down? Oh, okay. <laughs> Do I just march this into the sun? Is that the plan? No. Controlled manner. You also worked on the translation for that. Wonderful. Truly exceptional. All right, can I put something on the robot? Of course I can. Of course I can. I think this what? No, not the not the console. Feisty little drone doesn't need any Ian encouragement. Yes he does. It's shiny. Ah <sighs> well. Got no shoulders, bless it. <laughs> NDA, huh? See what you did there? Did 
Because my hands has these mere, weird pointy claw things. Does it want a hand? If anyone deserves a hand, it's me for getting this thing, despite my lack of skill. For my mop glowing now, for something to polish. Something in my inventory that's covered in muck. Is there? I don't want to give a cuteness overload. Where? There's someone else useful that I can fly it to. Right, it can come down here to where the sun is. Going back up there is where it is. Should I send the drone back up that way? No, not that way. Is this the way? No. flying this thing all over. Drone thing, quick cute, blowing with glow worm. I can wear this on my own head, right? Thank you. 
Fixed up fine, no need for additional repairs. We've lucky because I don't have a clue what, a clue what I'm doing. Fashion a cute little bow tie. Nah, it's a bit much. I'm really stumped now. There isn't anything else to do with the dead science lady. Uh oh. Start to. Oh, right. This lollipop is admittedly shovel like. I don't think it's strong enough to get through this ice. Chipping away for hours to get her out. I might do with just the one appendage for now. He said something about using. He's like, I've got the power of the sun here. And basically can't interact with, with this thing at all. Or switch and lever, or just for getting out. Huh. You got any ideas? I do not. get back up there. Oh, I can. Two viscous. Which is a good thing, really. It'd be even scarier in bubble form. It's a positive ectoplasm, not a cancerous growth. I'm gonna choke down a load of ectoplasm and walk around with a glowing bladder.
I don't want to risk that either. You know what autonomous hands are like. They're a nightmare. I want to fill this with ectoplasm. Might become haunted and wave at me in a sinister fashion. I wish I had a way to have them talk to each other, because usually, sometimes you can you do that for a hint. This seems to be the final puzzle of the level, too. So what have I not used yet? The bomb, basically. Have I tried just attaching the bomb to the robot? I guess I, I also don't know for sure that it's a bomb, but... I can wear this? Okay. I'm wearing it. walk into the sun while wearing the backpack? No. That was not the solution. That was also not the solution. Well, actually, that was the solution. There was no other way for me to get for, for me to ever get back up. I need a hint or an idea if anyone knows <laughs> if anyone wants to chime in with something that I have not tried which might be obvious who knows Yeah, go for it. If you have an idea. If there's if there's something that I haven't tried. Damn. <laughs> Uh, 
it's obviously supposed to be a bomb. And I obviously have to affix it to the drone, I would have thought. Maybe I do need to have damn backtrack and make an ice block that's pretty far to backtrack and they didn't hint at it being necessary. Dan was just like, I can't get through. He was like, leave it to me. Will it let me backtrack all... Expected that I made an ice block before and dropped it down here. Oh, can I not make ice blocks anymore? I cannot. that I didn't touch. Interesting. No, I must have touched it. This is just how I got here. want the run to end here. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a new checkpoint, I see. It's just whatever your most recent checkpoint is, that's the one that's lit up. I can't get up there. Um, hmm. I am undecided. See what happens while well, I'm incredibly there. If I want to reflect the starlight, I should find a way to do so in a controlled way.
I mean, it's gonna be... Duh. It's gonna be a dumb adventure game thing. <laughs> Which is not a slight against the game. Because that's... Yeah, I guess maybe. I guess if you want to look it up. No time for funeral parlor niceties. Um, yes, I, I used the machine to take some of the corpses and, and, um, what do you call it, make a, a cube out of them. If there's more that I could do there, like if I actually do it multiple times in order to, what, expose a doorway or something? Uh, yes, I pushed the cube out of the airlock. Yes, got past the sunlight. I should be very close to the, the last thing to do. I mean, I can make a second corpse cube. I don't think that helps, though. Yeah, I think this is just an infinite supply of corpses. It's not like I get something if I clear them all out. After getting hmm. I'm, I'm past the part where I used thrust, thruster control to make a platform for Dan. in the fear section of the game. It's exactly the same thing that happened with Outer Wilds. It even has not spiders. They're not spiders because they don't have eight legs. So it doesn't count, and I'm not afraid of them. See, there was one. Not scary. Not the right number of legs to be scary. trying to do the very last thing, I think. I have not. That's, that is the answer. Thank you. I've combined everything else. 
Why would I ever combine those two things? What does it do? That's better. For a holographic expander, that thing has become surprisingly grotty. It is now shiny and reflective. Really? Okay, if you say so. Did the description of the hollow spanner say that it wasn't very shiny? <laughs> so thank you. He did say something like, oh, well, you'll, I can use the mop hat on something dirty in my inventory. But I thought I tried it on everything. I need to do it myself. Okay. Ooh, that focused the sunlight up real nice. It's not really going anywhere useful. Hmm. So, can I fly this over here to be in the way? I do have a lollipop. <laughs> Is it in the... I bounced the beam right off the droid. Need to get it in a useful position. Okay, I see. I see now. That's it right there. So, like, here maybe. Can I do it from this... Oops. Can I interact with hot sunlight from this side? Yes. Hot starlight, I should say. This is a great idea. Oh, I do need to be on the other side. Very well. Squish. Break out the squish emotes. <laughs> How long has it been since we needed squish? Is there, does Twitch even let you do that anymore? Who knows? Twitch loves to take away things that we love. That sounded exactly like a strong beam of sunlight reflecting off a small metal, metal drone, then melting loads of ice really quickly. Hooray! <laughs> there you go. Dan! How you doing, buddy? Just about ready to get back to the calm of a secret lair under siege by all the apocalypses, to be honest. Do we get one final ghost jump scare? You bet we do. Just watch. Perhaps not. No, we definitely do. Also, this might not be the end of the level. This might just be part two. Uh-oh. Now what? Ghost spiral. <laughs> Great, a swirling coven of ghosts going round and round in a circle. Today has just been the worst. Eek, this backpack has started fizzing. 
Something in this area has brought it to life. And, and what is it doing? Why are the flashing lights and stuff? I'm hoping it's a ghost busting pack. It might be. Right, let's, let's pick him up. I can't believe I'm running towards ghosts. Good job, my bladder's already open, <laughs> already empty. His backpack is reacting to the ghosts. Come take it off me before it explodes or something. this on? It's more your size, and it keeps making dangerous crackling noises. I'm worried it might explode. Ready ho Skip. Do, do I have a button now, which allows me to ghost destroy? Press, press button to anti-ghost. There's a switch and, and thing. Perhaps I have to attack head on. Aha, the fizzing backpack is drawing the disparate ghosts together. I just need to stay central long enough. civilized non-metric time zone. I mean, nothing is technically stopping me from streaming earlier. Ah, I feel like I had it. night ever I was a person maybe yeah an ancient hideous monstrosity at last my teleportation centralizer hang on you're no ghost you're a live human lady I'm the chief science officer on this ship I was developing this teleportation technology this trigger device would instantly teleport you to the person wearing the centralizer backpack. The very same centralizer backpack your little monkey companion there is wearing. Hey. In emergency situations, it would have been invaluable. And I got it to work. But then something went... <laughs> then something went wrong. Classic Twilight Zone. <clears throat> something did indeed go wrong go wrong, the trigger device overloaded and fractured. It flushed a huge burst of vortexical energy. The entire ship was teleported and suddenly there was an asteroid where the midsection used to be. Many crew members were killed instantly or flung into the cold void of space. The remaining crew might have survived if the asteroid hadn't actually been a nest of insectoid aliens. While my crew were frozen or devoured, I was thrown into a state of atomic flux. I needed to get back I needed to get back to the backpack to become recentralized, but I was only physically existent for a second or two at a time. Days could pass between my manifestations. By the time I tracked the backpack down, it was frozen and therefore of no use to me. Oh, you poor person. How long were you stuck like that for? Let me think. 14, carry the 2. Oh, 2,000 years. But that would mean... <laughs> Gah. Some of them went in my mouth. <laughs> Ooh, 
let science go science goes left her uh, teleport gun or whatever seems to be rattling doesn't sound like it's working properly no Tell where <laughs> the, the dusty old scientist dropped. It's missing the rear panel, meaning the batteries are rolling around willy-nilly. And I have just enough duct tape to secure them. <laughs> that should sort it. Come on, Dan, let's have a practice. Really? I fixed it with duct tape, Dan. <laughs> I doubt very much indeed that I'll get trapped in eternal quantum flux now. Duct tape, Dan. Duct tape. We can now ping directly to each other's location using highly unstable ghost science technology. Yeehaw, totally brundled it. Let's get to that escape pod. Get out of here before space vampires show up or something. I don't t think I could take one more ounce of terror. Are you sure you don't want to stay a bit longer? I think I saw some crew audio logs out there. We could go listen to them all. <laughs> no. Construct complete. Assimilating data. Fear. Success. Brilliant, a slippy slidey ice level. Wait. What? Construct complete. Assimilating data confusion. <laughs> Success. All right, we got an emotional twofer. That was terrifying. I'm glad I already <laughs> leaked all my data, frankly. So, three down, eight to go. And it was a joyous relief to find out that everything had a scientific explanation. But if there's no such thing as g ghosts, there's no afterlife, and therefore, no god. Wah, the existential terror. I hope the next emotion is calming the fuck down. Oh, so now that we have this teleport power, there may be, I guess that's it, Some, in the hub world, there's somewhere else we'll be able to get that we couldn't before. But where? That's right, I couldn't get him through all of this. But I can go through my ouch. I can go through myself, and then he can teleport to me. Oracle, can I, I'm doing good. 
We're having a great time with Lair of the Clockwork God. Oh no. It's a really fun concept. <laughs> um, it's the, I guess, third game in the series. Oi. Oh no. Oh no. I made it. Um, I did not stream the... <sighs> did not stream the other two games, but I have played them, and they were both point-and-click adventure games with uh, these two characters, Dan and Ben. And... Uh, Ben has decided that he's going to become a platformer. Oh, that was a little buggy. So he does not like <laughs> the idea of being a point-and-click guy anymore. He is just going to um, be a platformer. So I switch back and forth between these two characters. One who does not jump, <laughs> but he does point-and-click adventure things, like having an inventory and combining things, and the other one uh, only walks and does, ed like, platformer stuff, like, whoa, uh, like, dying. <laughs> it's a great concept. And a very funny game. Oh, no. Very funny game, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. Man. <laughs> I've been through here bef before. But now I'm having trouble. What is my goal? Oh, I can stand on that. There we go. Yeah, I would I would highly recommend I think on Steam you you get both of their other games together and I I wanna say it's like even not on sale, it's like five dollars for both games, which would make most people think, oh, these are, you know, low quality games. They're actually really good. I would call it Ben There, Damn That and Time Gentlemen Please. Oh, oh, it worked. That's with the red I remembered. Wait, that just leads around in a circle, though. Ah, so there was no point to it. So what am I doing next? Let's do this. Let's go back to him and have him talk to the computer. Does it have anything new to say? What the hell was that? Oh no, are you angry at me? I can't tell. Did I do something wrong? The fear level! That was horrible. Oh, that little thing. <laughs> I needed to elicit a certain emotion from you, so I crafted a construct tailor-made to your neuroses. Worked perfectly. What was confusion about? That was a bit of a cheap trick. My apologies. Easiest way to elicit a simple emotional response. Time is, uh, of the essence. How about Ram? Oh no, we're doomed. Are there no more? No, we just haven't looked very hard yet. <laughs> oh, so there's hope? How intensely thrilling. I'm getting jolts of electricity shooting around my circuitry. That's bad. Calm down. I don't want you splurting coolant all over the floor. Leaders monitor. Have I said something to upset you? What? No, I just have to get on. Oh, how wonderful. Off you toddle, Len. It's also very British. <laughs> So 
So what is... There's gotta be something. There's something over here that, um... Oh, whoops. No, no, no. Cancel. Cancel. Cancel? Is there no cancel? For the teleport? Alright, so I have to be very careful never to push down. Oh, I canceled it somehow. Yeah, I have a feeling that somewhere over here should be something that, uh, that Dan interacts with. Here, maybe? Let's try. Any any stuff here? No, it's just a movie set. Nothing at all to interact with. What are we doing? We need to find some more RAM. Once the mechanic has enough, they can boot up a new construct for us to experience. Hopefully something more fun than being ripped apart by creepy monsters this time. That's exactly right. <laughs> or staring down a terrifying ghost. Did you enjoy facing your fears? I did not. I'm much happier <laughs> living in blissful ignorance. Keeping my darkest fears buried deep down. To be fair, your darkest fear seems to be phase-shifting spider-skeleton-monster things. <laughs> so burying that shit is probably quite sensible. Any ideas what's going on? Who is the mechanic? What is this facility? What's going on? Pfft. What do I care? As long as there's some more bits where gravity goes upside down. <laughs> I'm in my element. Personally, I think it's more intriguing when it's all implied, anyway. You can read what you like into it. And put your own personal spin on it. It's clever modern storytelling. It's confusing is what it is. I miss the days where you just had one big identifiable antagonist who delighted in shouting exposition at you. Goodbye. That's all the things I need to know from you for now. Okay, fine. <laughs>